So, if you've been following this YouTube channel for a while now, you know that initially I started this channel messing around with a Fujifilm X-Pro2. That was the camera I picked up basically at the time I started taking YouTube seriously. And over the years, things have changed. I've used Leica cameras, used the QP, and I couldn't shake this feeling lately that I just wanted to go back to where all this started. So I picked up a Fujifilm X-Pro3, even though there's certain things I don't like about this camera, it's just still nostalgic because it reminds me of the X-Pro2 that started this whole channel. So today we're gonna go out, we're gonna make some photography with it. And also we have a special guest on the channel today. So if you're an OG and you remember all the old videos, you'll uh, know this person. Yeah! <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, this is the special guest. Chris House is back in the house from San Diego. When was the last time you were here? In Atlanta? Like a year and a half ago, right? Oh no, like when we drove, probably. Yeah, which would have been... Over a year ago. Yeah. Well, yeah, so last time he was here was when me and him drove to San Diego for him to move there, which was last September. So it's been like 14 months. I don't know where we're gonna go shoot. We gotta figure this out. All right, back to the old stomping grounds. How do you feel being back? Cold. But what else? Oh, nostalgic. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna shoot for an hour, uh, throw the GoPro on, so enjoy. Chris, go left a little bit. So the X-Pro3 is going fantastic. Definitely nostalgic. It's really weird because today feels like a day that me and Chris will be hanging out doing pictures like three years ago, just with the weather and the way everything looks. I know I said I didn't like certain things about this camera and I still don't like them. I think the flip out screen is so stupid. It's like one of the dumbest design choices possibly ever on a camera, but I'm gonna look past that and be positive because this does, like I said, feel like it did a long time ago, which is cool. It's the exact reason I got it. So I'm having fun. Glad to have Chris here. And uh, we're gonna head to kind of like Olympic Park area, to try to get some street photos over here. It's been a so-so day. City's kind of winding down because it's close to Christmas, so there's not as many people out right now. Look out yeah, just sit down. Look, look, do that again. Look that way. Chris, look back over your shoulder. Yeah. It looked cool when you walked through it, but it just, you like get lost in the background. So oh, I was like, yeah. yeah, all right, we'll try it. Get lost in the sauce. Yeah, don't get lost in the sauce. Sweet green action for lunch. Keeping it healthy today. So I made a last minute decision. We were gonna go make photos in Midtown, but since Chris is in town, I'm gonna take him to my secret spot out in Roswell, Georgia, so we can photograph some old cars. Hopefully there's some cars out there. There literally always is. Um, so we're gonna finish up the shoot there. It's probably like 30 minutes away. So we made it. I got Chris out at the secret spot. We got a Mustang, Chevy. So we got some fire stuff to shoot. To one last location over here in Roswell. This is looking real sick. So the last spot was cool, but those cars, they don't have a really good scene as a backdrop. So it's hard to really set up a composition aside from like car corners and stuff. But with this one, the building and the colors and everything look cool. So I'm hoping we can both come up with something creative. We're 
looking through the pictures, Chris had a 24 to 70 on there. He just, he absolutely washed me on this location. Look at this. That is so sick. Last stop on the Evan and Chris reunion tour is East Pole Coffee. Chrome Yellow is where we used to go, but unfortunately Chrome Yellow is having some issues with their parking now. So we are going to the second best thing. This place is actually really dope and it's a lot closer to where I live now also. <laughs> Take it easy, bro. Happy birthday. Got the books. Yeah, you were there for most of those. Like, I feel like a portion of this is San Diego. A lot of the book, I feel like I've been with you for a lot of this. I will never forget when you thought that we were going to like spend an hour at the sand dunes. <laughs> and 20 minutes in, you're like, it, let's go. Yeah, it I want to like go back 110 there. 110 or something like that, I think. Left and a left. We'll see you, dog. I cannot lie, y'all. I really miss that guy living in Atlanta. I miss getting out and having days like this. But more important than my YouTube channel and the content I'm making, it's amazing to see my friend doing well. Ever since he moved to San Diego, his life has really flourished. And I'm proud of him. That's awesome to see. And days like today is what this YouTube channel was built on. Essentially, before I even had the channel, I would get out with friends. I'd get out with Chris. We'd go make photos. And I wanted to share those stories with y'all. And once this YouTube channel started picking up, once Chris's career started to move forward, it became more about just getting out and having the occasional creative day for yourself. Because when you're working a creative job for clients and things like that, it becomes really easy to put all your energy into other people's projects. So days like today were great for you know nurturing your own creativity and it was really nice today to have that feeling again and go out with somebody but more importantly it was just fun to see one of my friends and really cool to see how great they're doing their life. damn what a day that was a lot of fun so as far as the x-pro3 goes like i mentioned when i was out there there's a few things on here that are a little bit of quirks to it you know the screen or whatever but it really does remind me of my mindset when i got started with all this and it brings up the age-old question is it the photographer is it the camera does the camera matter and i personally think the camera does matter because in certain situations it affects the photography experience. And for me, some big lesson that I've learned over the last year is that even though the Leica cameras that I really enjoy, that I love, that I'm very passionate about, in certain situations like walking around in the streets casually to have fun, it's not the best camera to have with you. And I really lost a lot of the vibe that I had when I first started this channel. And yesterday reminded me of exactly what that was. So I'm excited to have this as another tool to use as part of the channel to bring y'all along. So in terms of the photos today, my favorites on the day, I really love the shot in the hotel. I think that came out really cool as far as street photos go. I think the best photo on the day is this Olympic rings photo, Olympic rings photo. This is one that I've had in mind for quite some time. I love the composition and the framing on this. I had Chris sit down because I was initially going to have him walk through the frame, but he kind of just got lost in the background like you heard me mention in the video. But if you're someone who has the editing module on my website, which is basically my version of presets, the formula on that one was tone curve number two, basic adjustments three, color grade two, colors three, vignette, color boost three, and then I switched it to color grade six. So that was my workflow on that one. And then all the car photos, naturally they always look really cool. I love car corner photos, y'all know that. I went there more for Chris and less for my own photos. But with all the car photos, I just copy and pasted the exact same settings that I started with. So that formula was starter tone curve two, basic adjustments four, color boost two, color grade six, colors three, and vignetting. So if you're someone who wants insights to my edits, that's exactly how I did those. You can check that out on evanramp.com. I'm excited to continue forward with this channel, bring y'all along with all these creative experiences and adventures, but today I'm gonna tell you what was a good one because it really reminded me of where all this started and any of you who were OGs on the channel, I know you enjoyed this one. So if you did, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, let me know your favorite photo on the day. I will catch y'all next time.